Hey everybody, I'm going to go ahead and demo uh, Lab 4.2. Uh, again, the objective of this lesson is to observe and understand how the surface temperature can influence the air movement above that surface. On the left we've got a hot container, color-coded it red, and on the right we have a cold container with ice in it, and I've color-coded that blue. Um, I'm going to introduce smoke into both of the chambers. We said smoke is like air highlighter. Um, so again, the objective is I want you guys to look at how the air is behaving here in each of these convection tubes. And then um, we'll talk a little bit more at the end of the video. Another thing to consider is that the punk stick is adding some additional heat because it's really hot. So, one more time, introduce some air highlighter into both of these convection tubes. Pay attention to how the air is moving in here, next to the surface, and how it's moving in here, next to this surface. Hopefully what you're seeing is in the convection tube with the hot surface, the air, the smoke in the air seems to be very energized. It's moving quickly. Um, you probably don't even see it down here in this part of the convection tube. Whereas in the cold surface, <clears throat> uh, that smoke right next to the ice seems to be moving very sort of, sort of heavy lethargic, almost kind of sleepy. So if we were to connect this to lab 4.1, where we were looking at how the surface of the temperature, or the temperature of the surface can change the air above it, the hot surface would make the air above it warmer, and the cold surface would make the air above it cooler. Uh, if you were to take it one step further and kind of think about where heat transfer is taking place, Ask yourself, what is the warmer thing in the convection tube? Where is the heat coming from? And where is that heat energy going to? Uh, and that should help you kind of think about why that air inside each of those convection tubes is behaving the way it is. I'll do this one more time for you. Kind of see it in the cold convection tube right now. That air isn't really sure if it should go up or down. It kind of looks like it's going up just a little bit, um, but the heavy air right next to that surface is not going anywhere. Um, and that air in that convection tube on the left, it doesn't even seem like there's any smoke in there at all. Uh, further evidence that the cold air in that convection tube on the right is sort of lingering around in that convection tube. Whereas the one on the left, it's almost like there isn't any in there. So before I, before I go, I'm going to go ahead and lift both convection tubes up and sort of release a lot of that air that's been trapped inside both of those convection tubes uh, to help further show the point of how the surface is influencing the behavior of the air. All right, so hot convection tube.
disinfection tube. All right, thanks for watching, everybody.